Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Delicacy's Destiny. Okay, it's just strangely worded. Uh, this is an act. This is a series. Uh, I was sure it was going to be a cooking show or something, but of course I should have known. This is a Chinese soap opera. Yeah, it's uh, completely overdubbed. Uh, it, I mean, I'm sure there's a subtitle version that you can probably switch to, which I, I did not do, but by default it's on overdubs, so English overdubs, and uh, it, it's it's a yeah, Chinese soap opera drama taking place, I guess, around the Ming Dynasty or whatever. You get to see these elaborate costumes, uh, and I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I mean... Uh, this is going to be one of those things that I'm going to have to actually explain because it's not everybody. It's not like everybody knows what it is right off the bat. It's not like, oh well, it's a teenage junior high kid high school adventure, or they where they sing and dance, or it's a, a Star War, or it's a superhero thing. No, this is <laughs> this is a drama. It's actually more of a comedy. Uh, I laughed out loud more than a number of times. Uh, I just I just watched one episode. This series currently has one season on Disney Plus. There are seventeen seasons. It's uh, sorry, seventeen episodes. This is I don't know when this officially premiered. It may be in China. I, I don't know, but uh, here it's twenty twenty two. So it's it's brand new to Disney Plus. Um, each of the episodes are about forty five minutes long, and uh, it tells the story of Ling Shushu. She is a very uh, strong-headed, strong-willed, and smart as a whip chef. She cooks to blow your mind, and uh, she works for a uh, for a restaurant. In the very opening scene, I'm going to explain just the opening scene. Uh, she we discover that she works for a restaurant, and uh, she wants out of it. She wants to go for bigger things. She wants to work at the palace for the royalty. And, uh, well, she uh, makes a humongous meal, and her boss is very just salivating at the idea. She's like, oh, I just made it for me. And he's like, no, no, you got to let me have some. He's like, I'll give you whatever you want. And, well, guess what? He blindly uh, lets her out of, his, out of the contract to work for him for the next 10 years. Yeah. That, uh, apparently that was a thing. Uh, women are property, of course, you know, back in the olden days. And probably in some people's minds today, but, you know, especially back in China, maybe. And pretty much around the world. So, yeah, in this case, though, nobody's going to get in, anything over on uh, Shu Shu. Shi Shi? Shu? Xiao Xiao? Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. Ling Xiao Xiao. Sorry, I'm new to this language. Uh, but by the way, her real name, uh, well, her, the actor who plays her, is uh, Jennifer Sun Bell. Jennifer. Jennifer plays Ling Xiao Xiao. Sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she has to, she's given the job of, uh, our, of feeding the uh, royal prince, who uh, is our other lead in this. Uh, his name is uh, Prince Shu... Shao Ku? Yeah, I'm going to screw that up. I'm, but he's played by Harrison Shu. Or Harrison Zhu. Harrison Zhu. X-U. Yeah. Harrison and Jennifer. So, <laughs> so Harrison and Jennifer are playing the two leads in this thing. And yes, it's a, it's a drama. It's very much a comedy. And it's also a romance. You can pretty much figure out that there's going to be a romance that's going to build in this. She gets the job she wants, of course. Um, and then, I, it's, it, <laughs> and that's what the entire first episode's all about. It's her pushing her way to a, a position of power that she wants. And, of course, some of the comedy comes from her interactions with her subordinates now, or basically a bunch of uh, kitchen assistants, these women who are gossiping and they don't want to work and they think she's going to be gone like every other chef that was kicked out of the palace because of the picky tastes and attitude of the uh, petulant prince but uh yeah 
she's not taken down so quickly or so easily. Uh, but yeah, there's so many little things in this that I don't want to ruin for you. I mean, I've already ruined the main concept. If you want to go in fresh, well, it's too late. I've already told you a lot, but uh, there's a lot more that I can't even begin to describe that happens in this. Yeah, maybe I'm overselling it. I don't want to. I don't want to oversell it. It's to me. It's actually just. Yeah, you've seen soap operas like this, or you've seen dramas, or even comedies like this. That the concept isn't too out of this world. But the setting is interesting, and uh, the way things have to be presented so it's so English-speaking audiences can understand what's being communicated. Imagine in, in Chinese, it's a it's a bit more complex and probably a whole lot more nuanced than what they're giving us. But it doesn't lessen the humor or the drama or the romance to come, which there isn't romance yet in the first episode. But uh, if you decide to stay for the credits, and I think this is a, a problem to me with a lot of, like, like, I know with Korean soap operas, I've seen those. And, and, and there's, I think we've had some other uh, ones we've seen on Disney Plus where they just sort of show what's to come in the season. And it's like a whole bunch of, like, previews. And it spoils way too much, like, the whole romance thing. But how far it goes in just 17 episodes. It's, it's upsetting. So the moment the credits start showing up, turn it off if you don't want to be spoiled. Because... I'm like, I'm paying attention to it, and I'm just like, wait, that... And there's other things that'll just, like, confuse you. Like, why is that happening? But, you know, it's... Could it be a dream? You know, those could... Eh, a lot of things that I saw could have been a dream. Uh, there is a lot of some internal monologuing going on for some of them, where they're not speaking, but you can you can hear their thoughts uh, when as they're interacting with certain people. So, yeah, it's... I'm going to recommend this as the car alarms go off. I'm going to actually also add this to my list, which is something I never thought I'd say. It's on my list. And that horn is annoying me. Can you hear it? I never can tell if people can hear all the extraneous things or if this microphone filters that stuff out. Well, we just made our video about a minute or two longer. Anyway, uh, it's got a good cast. It's very, uh, it's surprisingly funny. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. It, it's it, again, I don't, I don't think you're going to be too crazy surprised if you know what to expect from this genre of of soaps, basically. And uh, this the culture. I, I've seen my share of Japanese and Korean shows, and and, and now Chinese. Uh, and yeah, they, they dig back into their culture very much, and you see a lot of the tradition. Uh, strangely enough, the theme song music uh, is very modern. It's very hip. You know, I don't know, hip. Oh, man, I've just showed my age. It's, it's just, yeah, no. It's it's very up to date. It's not traditional uh, uh, music. So, yeah, it's. I think it's meant to pull in a younger audience as well. So, it, but, uh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's actually a really fun watch, which, uh, I, again, I was not expecting and maybe maybe it sucks later on and maybe it just gets boring i had no idea what to expect from this but eventually when i get the time i'm gonna watch the rest of these episodes <laughs> again i love being surprised i love not i love finding things that i wouldn't normally have watched it's nothing against you know chinese soap operas it just I'm going to be watching Captain America Winter Soldier for the 50th time before I end up watching this by default in my body and brain. This is one of the things I love about the fact that I've done this, that I chose to do this since day one of Disney+. Plus. I can't believe that I've gone this far, over 1,020 episodes, and man, it's... Uh, I'm finding a lot of good stuff. Some crappy stuff, but a lot more good stuff than bad on Disney+. Plus. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 203. 203. Come on. 
Scroll, scroll. There we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is... I don't think this is a Disney film. But it is a musical classic. It, I don't know if they got, brought this over with the Fox thing or if Disney acquired it at some point in another way. But I don't think the studio Disney studio existed when this thing came out. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know enough about it, but I haven't seen it. It's a classic, and I will admit that I have not seen this. We're going to be watching Hello, Dolly. Yes. Yes, I know. I know. I, yeah, I like my share of musicals, but I'm, I just haven't seen everything. I'm just not... I just don't go out of my way. So, uh... We're going to be watching the classic Hello, Dolly. Yeah, and I, you might hear me sing it if it doesn't screw up the copyright laws. No, I'm not going to sing it. You don't want that. <clears throat> okay. That's what we're watching tomorrow. Hello, Dolly, on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.